Hey guys, it's Jonah here and I'm back with a beer review and we're going to do an absolute classic beer. This is part of the Guinness series and we've done the original, um, so I thought I had better go and get one of these, the actual Guinness draft. And obviously this is in the cans because uh, doing a review at home with proper Guinness is going to be a bit difficult. And this one, can you hear that? It's got the old widget in there. Um, in Australia, that's called a widgeridoo, believe it or not. <laughs> right, now the trick about doing the draft in cans is open it reasonably quickly and then pour it into the glass because otherwise it goes absolutely everywhere. So that was a practice hand. And okay, in the pub, you've got to, you've got to do the old pour for a long time. I'm not going to mess around with that kind of stuff. Boom. And there's a lot of debate about how the old widget works, but basically it's filled with a little bit of nitrogen, um, and that gives that beautiful sort of thing. Let's see if we can see it. Can you guys see that there? I can definitely see it. You see it's scooting up the side there. Lovely, lovely. And it's forming that head. And for those of you that don't know, if you carbonate a beer using a little bit of nitrogen, it forms very, very small bubbles instead of big, big bubbles. And that's what gives the beautiful fingers head. Um, look at that. Absolutely brilliant. It's going to take another, another minute or so to get perfect, perfectly black. Have a look at the bottom. Lovely color there. But that's going to do for me because I want to get cracking into this. And you've got that weird fruity aroma with Guinness. I'm not sure why you get that, but you definitely get that dark fruit, kind of mince pie, even a bit of Christmas pudding. And it's a well-kept secret what they put in here. But to be honest, because of the roasted malts you're using, does it really matter what kind of hops you're using for the bittering? Perhaps it does. I could probably take a guess at the hops, but I'm not going to. Look at that absolute classic black with a perfect white head on there. Let's get cracking, guys. Cheers and beers. We've been Uncle Jonah. We're drinking more beers so you guys don't have to. Oh, first off, you're getting that silkiness. Mmm, that lovely kind of lactosey stuff. Absolutely fantastic. Then you're getting hit with refreshing kind of bitterness, which makes your mouth water a little bit, clears your palate, and leaves you with a slightly bitter, slightly coffee, a roasted barley kind of aftertaste. As I said, you can you can taste hops in there for the hop kind of bittering, but you can't differentiate what particular hops they're using in this bad boy. Oh, this, I mean, I used to live on this stuff. Absolutely good. Apparently, you can live on Guinness and bananas indefinitely. I wouldn't want to, <laughs> but apparently you can. Once again, it's like that silky smooth velvet coming down the throat with a small amount of bitterness. For you hop heads, this is, this is something of an enigma. And I don't know about you, but I remember the enigma that Guinness did. They did a, they did a lager a while ago called Enigma. Um, it was essentially a Guinness pale ale, but it still had that head because at the time, people weren't getting into nitronine Ooh, nitrogenization. 
which was as home brewers, you can actually buy that and produce a head very similar to Guinness. But you've got to ask for the half carbon, well, it's about 75% carbon or 85% carbon um, and sort of 20%-ish um, of the nitrogen. Works wonders though. And that's how you want to leave the glass white all the way maybe oh look tiny tiny bit of the guinness left that is how to drink a guinness properly my 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 fantastic beer however on this voyage of discovery we have also found some other very special guinness beers so my suggestion to you guys is make sure you get down to your supermarket to your winery wherever you buy your wine from and make sure you try some of the other variants of guinness out i could have bought the mid strength but to be honest in my local supermarket I didn't want them to take the piss out of me and they were on special offer as well but they're only about two percent so maybe i will find one one day and do a review on it but for now i'm not going to cover the mid-strength beer guys this has been uncle jonah if you like what you've seen or if you like any of the guinness um, beer reviews please click like down below please click subscribe and we'll see you for more beer reviews real soon take care